Welcome, so we're going through exercise 6c and in this video we're going through question 1c which is all about the remainder theorem. Now this being the first video on this type of question I really want to go slowly through it. In subsequent videos I'll move a bit faster but for this one we're really going to take our time. So let's begin by reading the question. It says without dividing find the remainder when the first polynomial is divided by the second. And here are our two polynomials. Now our first one is div being divided by our second one. Now the whole point of this is, as you can see here, not to use division. But just to situate ourselves, let's just write this out as if we were doing division, just so we can understand what is being divided by what. So what it's telling us is that the first polynomial is being divided by the second. So that means what I'm going to wind up with is this polynomial being divided by this one. So that's going to look something like this. x minus 2 is going to be divided by 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So that's what it's going to look like. So that means we can start to identify which one is my dividend and which one is my divisor. So as you know, what's underneath here is your dividend. So that means we're going to say that this right here is my P of X. So that's what we are referred to as our dividend. P of X is our dividend. And what does the dividing, so in this case, X minus two, that's our divisor. And we represent that with D of X. So all of that was really just to situate you. This is my divisor. This is my dividend. What's underneath here. But again, as I said, the whole point of doing this is not to use long division. So let's get rid of that. So now we understand what's being divided by what and what's P of X and what's D of X. Now we need to find the remainder. So we're going to use the remainder theorem. So let's look over here now and decipher what this is telling us. All right, so it's saying when P of X, so that's our dividend, is divided by this. Now that is my divisor. What is doing the dividing? So what we could say is that this right here is D of X. Finally, it says, so when my dividend is divided by, is divided by my divisor, the remainder is going to be this. This is my remainder. So how exactly did we get it? So what they've done is they've taken the divisor and they've set it equal to zero, then rearranged for x. So in this case, our divisor is beta x plus a equals zero. So it's going to be beta x equals negative a. x is going to be equal to negative a over beta. So that right here, as you can see, that's that. So all they've done is they've taken this and they've put it into our dividend. And by doing that, we find the remainder. Very wordy, but hopefully as we go through this example, you're gonna see it's actually not that tricky. So let's now do the same. So to find the remainder for this question, what we do is we take our divisor and we set it equal to zero. So that means we're going to get x minus 2 equals 0. We then solve for x. So that means I'm going to plus 2 to both sides, and I'm going to get x equals 2. Then what you say is, therefore, therefore, if I let, if I put this into here, so in other words, p of 2 is my remainder. So, how easy is that? We can find the remainder without doing our polynomial long division. You simply set your divisor equal to zero, rearrange for x, then put it into your dividend. This right here, that right there, that's your remainder. But of course, you have to now do the arithmetic, you have to put it in and find it. But all we've done here, this is the conceptual side of things. This is perhaps the tricky side of it. Everything, thus, uh, everything after this is simply just subbing in numbers. So if you understand this, you understand the remainder theorem. So let's now finish off this question. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, P of two is going to be, so every, t every time I see an X, I'm going to put a two there. So it's going to be two, two cubed, minus two, two squared, plus three, two, plus one. We come down, this is going to be two of eight, minus two of four, plus six, plus one, which is going to be equal to 16 minus eight, plus six, plus one. Keep on going. This is going to be equal to 16 minus eight is going to be eight, plus six, plus one. I think I'm going to answer it here. Eight plus six is going to be 14, plus one is going to be 15. So 15 right here, that is my P of two, which is, as we know, my remainder. So this right here is going to be your answer. Your remainder is going to be 15. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. We've really taken our time with it. In uh, subsequent videos, I'm going to move a lot faster, but hopefully you understand what the remainder theorem is and how to apply it.